children. Um, yeah, it's misery. How are you? People keep asking after you. Still limping, but he's all right. He's not dying. Um, surprise, surprise. We're chopping wood. Yeah, I won't video it. You're bored of it. I get it. I'm bored of it as well. So I just need to take the bobcat over because um, everywhere's so wet that we'd be throwing wood um, on the wet floor and it's there's no point like doing that. So I'm gonna stick it in this bucket and stack it next to the boiler. Roy's mum always used to say that rainwater was better for plants than normal water. So she used to take all the pots outside and line them up on the wall and let them get rainwater because it was very healthy for the plants. Now, I've just left my brew outside and applying that very, very scientific theory, it's been rained in quite a lot and gone cold. So I'm thinking that this brew is in fact better for me than the original hot one that I left on the side over there before I did some jobs. So just a random musing while I'm stood here, boys mucking out. This thing here with the horns, um, the reason it's got horns is because as a calf, it had um, a case of pneumonia and it was tret, obviously. And because we find they're slightly weaker, we didn't want to give it the stress of dehorning, so we turned it out with horns. Now, even now when these were 18 months old, that animal there with horns in front of me still ails when it's miserable weather. So it always is the first to cough. There's nothing necessarily wrong with it. It's not panting and it's not breathing badly. It just is always a slightly sickly um, thing. My question, my question is though, does the same apply in adults? Now, my question is, when you have pneumonia, are you always slightly weaker afterwards or do you fully recover? That's my question very badly put. These animals are such creatures of habit. So when we've been looking out, what we've been doing is we've been putting them through next door into here. Mucking them out, then putting them back and then doing the same with the other side of the building. So basically this here, this little pen here, there's nothing in it, it's empty. Um, the reason for this is because there was a leaky trough at the back, if you remember rightly, so we didn't do anything with it. But it's made these animals very naughty. So these guys here, it's made them, like they've got out of the habit of moving out of the way for machinery because they've been putting them through there. And it's funny how they all learn a habit and they've all turned really naughty and a gate opens and they rush to it which is what I've been doing. I've made a rod for my own back because I've been opening the gate, they've been rushing through it and I've been closing the gate and that's how they've been doing for the last, what, three or four weeks um, since they've been moved in here. But yeah, it's just become quite apparent that I'm making an issue. I am making an issue. Still haven't got that fixed, as you can see. So we brought a tiny trailer today, tiny dipping trailer and we're gonna tip that. that trailer at one day it's so lovely honestly so lovely we did have another one we had another one actually and um me and tom barker were picking stitch branches really and we ended up tipping and well how did that one of me and tom barker break the ram snapped didn't it yeah it was just really rubbish it was a really rubbish trailer anyway that one's a good one well, when I say good, it's leaky and it's slightly lacking in the wood department. But apart from that, it's really good. Well, I said it was bought for a hundred quid off a man called Harold and he put new sideboards on it years and years ago. So there, it's dead good now. Okay, so I have my bike. <laughs> um, I've just come to pick it up um, from Facebook Marketplace. It's nifty as hell. Like, it's a proper cool bike for such a cheap price. Anyway, 
so the absolute gem of a lady who was selling it um, gave me loads of inner tubes and things that go with it because they don't fit her new bike and she was like because I questioned her about the funny pedals was literally like do you want these um, shoes that clip in and go with it oh my god like just so kind honestly really really kind anyway got the bike the pickup back door wouldn't go up and stick i don't know why don't ask me for the first time ever um there's something in the back that i don't want to fall out and it wouldn't go up so i managed to find um an old headphone cable on the floor and i have tied it up with that absolutely outrageous behavior from me um <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna go back home now because my friend Nicola's come in for something to eat because I haven't seen her for a long time. Um, but yeah, super impressed, super impressed. Um, I'd face, thank God, the window mirror down, window mirror, the window mirror, the rear view mirror down, um, just to keep a check on the back door. The back door has now fallen open just now. Thank God I was next to a lay-by, no joke. So I've just pulled in quickly. Um, and also thank God for that very kind lady for giving me these lovely shoes because the shoelace is coming out of it. And that's what I'm going to have to use to cure the back door. I have never felt so yockle in all my life. All my life. Right, do I dare leave the keys in the car? Will it lock itself? Knowing my luck, yes. I think I will actually take them out, sad as it may be. Round two, please, please work, please work, please work. Right, I can see clearly the back of the truck is there. If that line disappears, there's hell on. back to the lane and ha, she's still up it is a miracle i have never driven so gently even with livestock on board um this was indeed a test of my patience and i am so so sorry to the man in the silver bmw who was clearly infuriated by my steady driving style um important things going on right now mr man in silver bmw and that's nothing against bmw drivers because i i am one actually um you know um yeah so let's just all recognize the um shimano Sh shimano um shoelaces for the win they literally um held that back door up all the way back like i'm sure you could even climb a rock face with them if you so wished to don't try that at home but still i have one very important question for you spike lists where's the suspension like have you seen the potholes I i'm quite fond of my you know how do you do this like how does it work Rats. Oh, you missed it! You missed it, you duff! Daft... <coughs> it run past you! Oh my god! We're tidying up. The joys of New Year, absolute joys. A cubicle. An actual cubicle. You don't need to let things get messy. We will shortly be getting new ones, so there is absolutely no need for this to be left around there on the floor. What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing? nothing. Oh, there's no such thing as nothing. Um, go over there can you see that pile of metal that your dad's um grinding up go and pick all the bits of plastic out of it please and um, put them in a bag well done separation is key obviously i am supervised by none other than the spider cat spider cat spider cat um. well half worked didn't it there's gonna be trouble. Uh. Oi! No. Oh, now we have litter swept. I'm gonna um, get the scraper on the bobcat. I would get the brush on, but do you know what? The scraper's just as effective. 
Oh my God, look at me, I'm a proper squirrel. They're actually really useful when we're bringing sheep in. Um, we use them to cover gaps because uh, we, at present, there is nothing. There's not even a fence stopping sheep going into that field. So we kind of park tractors across there, open the gate, and then we need them. So I'm going to leave them there, despite them looking horrendous. I might tidy them up a tiny bit. Could have chosen like really clean ones, but I've chosen one that's fallen over in the dirt, but never mind. Oh, I do not know how long that bucket's been there. Sorry, double chin. I'm really bad for this at the minute. I swear to God, I actually look like this. I don't look like this. Like, there's a big difference. I need one of them sticks that people have, but I just can't be arsed. I just prefer to have this in my pocket. Too, but you won't believe it. What's he doing? Like, what is it about men that just want to like break stuff? How cute is this though? Hello! Are you okay? <laughs> Theory, that animal should not be able to turn around in them cubicles to be able to stand like that. So we really need today to empty this shed. Now as you can see, there isn't actually a right lot in it. Uh, drainage pipes, there to go in here so they can stay in. Um, we will possibly load up that little stock box with all of this stuff here and distribute that where it needs to. That's a friend of ours that we helped move house and they didn't have any storage for this stuff. Um, so we were just going to um, sort out what's rubbish and what's not. This was very kindly gifted to us, although it might look the size of a pool table. It's actually a really big workbench. Um, so I need to clean the workshop out. That's the thing, you end up just further jobs to do, isn't there? I need to clean the workshop out in order to fit that in. I've hurt my finger. It's gone numb. That's why I'm sucking it. Bizarre. I squashed it. Not like badly enough for it to really hurt, but it's gone. Sorry, must remember. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone numb. Um, and slightly like. Yeah, it's gone numb, like it's freezing cold. I don't know whether I squashed the blood out of it or what. It's not like hurt, hurt. It's just weird. Uh, and it's mostly that bit there. And I'm just presuming that if I put it on my tongue, it'll keep it warm and maybe the blood will come back to it. I don't know. I don't know what I've done. It was very peculiar, very peculiar. Finger updates incoming. It's ruining my own um, surprises here. I need to be a Tom Pemberton or anything. Should be in the dictionary. I'm gonna ring him and tell him. A Tom Pemberton should be in the dictionary as withholding information to make a video more exciting in the future. That's what the definition should be. Charlotte is doing a Tom Pemberton. Right, right, right. I found a box of filters and couldn't help myself but make a silly video. Can somebody tell me how we've ended up with not one but two anchors 
in our lives. Now, I have never been a fan of the sea. Uh, my parents threw me in it when I was a lot younger, um, wakeboarding and such like, hated it. Absolutely terrified of water, especially open water. Pathetic, I know. All these people that go oh, fashionable open water swimming and things like that, can't do it. I can't even, mm, yeah, no, I'm not comfortable going in the sea at all. So how, how have we got anchors in our lives? Anchors free to a good home. Does anybody want them? Anybody. I am ready for my table. Ready for my table. Well, I'm nearly ready for it. Here's my table. You know, there's nothing more determined than a woman who has been told she cannot do something. That's a big table. I'm going to do it. Right guys, I'm gonna love you and leave you because it's raining and we've actually not done that much farm work yet. And it's going dark. So happy new year to all of you. And I always appreciate you all. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It helps me out immensely. And 53% I think of people are not subscribed and they watch the videos. Um, so I would appreciate it if you could all subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you're getting up to for New Year. Is it as little as we're getting up to? Because we're literally going to go and do some farm work and then stuff our faces with chocolate for Christmas. Watch a bit of rubbish telly and then complain about how much fireworks cost. So thanks for watching. Love you long time and I'll see you next time.